What about you? We've started the season here. I've been trying to get a decent stripe burnt into my lawn. I've made a classic mistake, but before we get into it, let's get the grass cut. We'll have the daffodils around the garden now. Strictly speaking, you should leave those for another few weeks to let these leaves here gather up enough energy for next year. But it's a bit of an eyesore, so I'm going to cut them down now. Don't forget folks, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to smash that like button, leave me a comment. Now, let's get on with it. Now, to get a nice stripe on the lawn, get the lawn looking like this, what we do is we burn the stripe in. So what I mean by that is just going up and down the same stripe until those stripes become really, really apparent. And then whenever I'm happy with how that looks, then we'll start cross cutting. The, my problem being that I haven't been here enough. The lawn should be cut at least twice a week. At the minute, it's just getting cut once a week. And although I'm starting to get the stripes burnt in, the grass is quite long whenever I come here, so whenever I come here, it's starting just to roll over in the direction that we're cutting, and it's causing the issues that I'm going to show you now. Really pleased with how the lawn looks, however, Continually cutting stripes in the one direction to burn the stripe in can cause some problems, especially to have been really busy. Anybody that's seen my video from a few weeks ago talked about how I was really struggling, keeping up with my work, and getting this lawn cut was something that I could only do once a week, and it did get away from me a bit. So it has, I have come across a bit of an issue, but we're gonna go through it now step by step. Let's go. Regular viewers to my channel will know what this is. This is a prism gauge. It's an expensive bit of glass. It's a magnifying glass and we use it just to measure the height to cut. So I'm going to show you some of the issues that I'm having with the lawn here. We're going to use this, but we're also going to need to use the tape measure. So we take our prism gauge and we set it down the lawn and it shows us the height of cut. Whenever we look in there, we can see the different heights. Now, the problem I'm facing is we're continually cutting the grass the one direction. And what it's doing, it's rolling the grass down. So I'm going to show you something as discussed the grass rolls down and we put the prism gauge down on the lawn and it looks as if it's cutting the right height but whenever we just give the lawn a quick swipe all of a sudden you can see that grass coming up so i don't think we're going to need the prism gauge to measure this here we're going to just use the old-fashioned tape measure grass is actually about 100 mil on the tape measure obviously this is a bit of an issue now generally i would get the birdie cutter out or my scarifier and give it a really light scarify just to lift that grass up. However, I put down a fairly expensive fertilizer not so long ago, and if I start vertical cutting, then I risk damaging those little prills. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the mower and we went that direction, now we're gonna cut that direction and see if it starts to lift it up. If it doesn't, then I'm gonna have to think about vertical cutting or giving it a brush. So let's do that now. So let's just have a quick look. I've only done a couple of stripes to see if 
we've made any difference. So here's a bit I've gone up and down over. You can clearly see that all that grass there is just still lying over. So we're going to have to look at more extreme measures to, to get this lifted so we can get a good cut on it. So we've tried plan A and it didn't work. So now we're going to have to go to plan B and get the birdie cutter out and just run it across it. I've got my old scarfire out of the shed. We haven't started this in a while, so it'll be interesting seeing if it starts. So my next job then, I'm going to take the Milwaukee mower and, and cut all the debris off this. So I'm just going to give a wee shout out to my sponsors, Milwaukee Tools UK, who sponsor the channel. It, actually, this lawnmower's provided to me, but on turbo mode, it does a really, really good job just at lifting all the debris off the lawn. So just to have a look across the lawn, all the debris off it, and we're gonna do a pull test to see how much grass is now sitting up. The Verdi cut has just cut it and lifted it all up, and then running the mower over it has just cut it all off. Now we've got all that done, my next job, I'm going to get the lawnmower out and I'm going to run down those same stripes again. I know some of you will be saying, Robbie, don't be doing that. But I don't want to lose the stripes that have got burnt in. And then in future days, I'm going to start cutting across. To have a look at some of the grass that's come out of this, you can see that there's quite a number of thick stems and that's really from the Poana. If you want to learn all about Poana, watch this video next and I'll see you over there now.